This, this team has uh, done some some incredible things all year long, um, and tonight was no different. They've they've just found the results, and a, a team that's going on to the Sweet 16 and has won two conference championships absolutely do and did um, all year long what everyone just witnessed tonight, and that was f uh, finding a way to win. Um, I'm incredibly, incredibly proud. Uh, Keisha has anchored that back line uh, to 16 shutouts, which is incredible. Um, but our whole team defends, but without Keisha's voice, uh, it would have been a whole lot different. And then to my right, Michaela Bam uh, scoring that game winner, and, and she's been doing that for us all year, and I'm thrilled and proud. Um, and my staff prepared them, and, and here we are. So thanks. Coach. Well, the nice questions. Coach, you said you taught her that shot last week. It still yeah. works pretty well. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I have to be honest with you. She has this uh, coach from Peru when she was younger that taught her that. I have nothing to do with it. I will take no credit, but uh, I will send him a fruit basket um, if it's not illegal uh, and uh, make sure that all happens. Coach, was there a point in the match where you thought or you were felt <clears throat> that it was going to take something outside of the box to, to get it done? Uh, it's, um, we had so many opportunities and, you know, you, you keep going, oh, one more, one, one missed opportunity, one more missed opportunity. And, and, and I just felt that it was going to take something special or for someone to do something just a little bit more special or change something up. But most importantly, s stick with their, uh, their, their job and their soccer IQ. Uh, looking ahead, you guys have uh, UCLA coming up on Sunday in the next round. Um, with, going, with tonight's match going extra time and just having a day's rest, is there a concern about maybe fatigue at all going into that match? Yeah, recovery is going to be something that we, we have to think about. And absolutely, we have uh, close to, what, extra 15 to 20 minutes in our legs more than UCLA. But, uh, you know, this team uh, did it in the big Big 12 championships, and uh, they know how to push through it. And you know, at this point, we're we're at the Sweet 16, and we got to get to the Elite Eight. So, listen, no excuses. Michaela, how, um, or maybe it wasn't difficult, but how, but how difficult was it for you and, and and for your teammates when you guys had so many shots tonight and, and so many different chances and to you know to keep your wits about you and to not get frustrated, you know, to, to keep playing was was that difficult at all tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, it's always a frustrating time when, I mean, you make taking as many shots as we were and then it's not going in. But um, again, our coach is just telling us to stay calm, make sure to stay over the ball uh, and keep taking shots, you know. So uh, in the end, it paid off. <laughs> yeah. you know, what's going through your mind when you're getting ready to take that shot? Did you see an opening? Did you just want to throw something on frame? Was it a cross? <laughs> no, <laughs> this one wasn't a cross this time. <laughs> um, no, uh, we were always talking about how uh, Devin was always, you know, she would stay off her line at times, and sometimes she would be on the line, but um, kind of just took a look and then placed it. We've been working on that all year, and we have forwards club <laughs> every single week, so something that we were working on, and it finally came through. It was just like 30 seconds before where Lawrence's shot hits off the top of the crossbar. So, I mean, what, what's going through your mind at that point? And then, of course, you know, you take the ball down to the, the, the corner and, and get the game winner. But that's, you know, pretty exciting, you know, 30, 40 seconds right there. No, yeah, Ashley, I wish that one would have went in first. <laughs> but, uh, no, again, it's it's we were this close, you know, and it was coming to a point where we were taking those many shots and one was had to go in. So... Um, we pushed for each other, and we all persevered through the whole, the whole struggle of it all. But in the end, I'm, I'm glad we came out with a win. I, this feels so unreal. <laughs> can you talk a little bit about the battle between you and Prince all night? Um, I mean, definitely playing with her since U15. Um, there's always a battle between us. Um, she had a great game today, and I think it's just. It was a battle between me and her. I think it was the whole back line in general. Um, we did a great job of communicating where she is on the pitch at all times because I think once we start to um, get complacent and um, not worry about her, she, she becomes very dangerous. Um, she's a very pacey player, so we always got to be side on on our back foot, um, ready to win the race, and uh, I think we did just that tonight. So cool. What was that moment like for you when Lawrence's shot goes off the crossbar? Is it 
Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, just uh, for you, I'm just kind of you're, you're wondering what's what's it going to take at, at, yeah, at that point. Or? This game is is cruel. It's a cruel game, and I've been uh, in my 22 years and plus playing. You've been in games where there's just saran wrap around that net, and uh, you know I, I I know how special this group is, and and they weren't going to put us in, in a position like that. But it does cross your mind, and you just kind of push through it and stay positive, and and hope that uh, they believe as as much as. Uh, I do, and as much as the staff does, but uh, it, it was it was incredible what uh, this team was able to do tonight. Keisha, like you said, you knew Prince well, you know mm -hmm. Fleming well, also on Sunday. Yeah, um, how tough is it to play against somebody you know? Is there maybe an advantage that goes to the <coughs> offense or the defense when it's when it's a familiar matchup? Um, I think it's nor good or bad because um, they know your tendencies as well. You know their tendencies, so it's it's always um, a tough match. Even when you play teams twice, like um, against Ohio State, we play them early on in the year, so it's definitely it's not going to be the same game because each sides know um, what each other's our capability of. So I think that's always tough. But um, but going into the UCLA match, I think Jesse's obviously a top player and. As a team, not just the back line, I think we just always got to be aware of where she is because she just roams all around the pitch, not just up front. What do you say about this crowd tonight, Coach? Oh, wow. Mountaineer Nation came out loud and proud, and it was incredible. I mean, uh, back in, I think, what, 2007, in our Elite Eight game against uh, the national champions, USC, I, I thought it was pretty close, but... Uh, Unbelievable. We heard them. They gave us that energy, and, and we hope they uh, come out Sunday and, and do the same thing for us. It was awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Kayla, did you think the shot had a chance? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you shoot, you always are trying to score. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it had its chance, and it yeah. took its chance. <laughs> Kayla's the most optimistic person ever. <laughs> She'll it's never tell you any different. That is not a lie. It was, it's true. You were pretty well marked on the play, right? I mean, could you see the, could you see, you know, the goal, the part of the goal you were, were shooting at when it went off the foot, or? Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. it was more. I mean, after it went in, I kind of like froze a little bit, mm -hmm. but uh, no, yeah. I mean, again, it's something that we've always been working on day in and day out. So, I got it went in. <laughs> Coach, a lot of those chances uh, during the game on offense. Involved Hannah Abraham. How do you think she played tonight? You know, I, the 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 one thing you can always control is your effort, and I thought Hannah did a great job controlling that effort. And you know, if I'm going to give her an A, I'm giving her an A for that and her performance. Obviously, we we want everyone to score when you're a forward, but uh, you know, I, she did everything I asked of her and more, and I was very proud of Hannah Abraham.